for training and quality purposes. Chair Repair and Parts Department, this is Melanie. I have a KitchenAid dishwasher. Model number is Kilo Delta Papa Echo. Two, three, four, golf, Papa, Sierra, zero. Good tip. And what are we looking for? Part number retail price for the heating element, main control board, and also drive motor, sump motor. So the heating element, let's think it has a new, there's a part number of whiskey. One zero seven zero three eight six seven sixty six fourteen retail, and we don't have any stock anywhere. Whirlpool's out of stock until the middle of October. And then the main board, kitchen aid, dishwasher, <laughs> complaint, no the wash whiskey, cycle. One one three. First observation is water flows. Once zero water three. level is achieved, power to ground sent to the drive sump motor, in which will turn no has no the wash arm by forcing water up the through the wash arm. An observation notice the element whiskey. has warped. One, one. Zero and appear to have maybe Four, ground. Five, six. Retails $208 either causing the control board integrated control chips to the drive motor to malfunction in which doesn't allow power to ground to the sump motor which will not force water up through the wash arm and to, re to turn the wash arm. thus causing a two component complaint and as far as parts availability contacting our major distributor parts appear to be non-available locally and also there is not an ETA of parts availability in stock at the manufacturer's level which is an indication that the manufacturers either not providing parts for this design not to be repaired within a reasonable amount of time, thus causing a decision of replacement versus waiting for a part that doesn't have an ETA to be received, to be received versus going online on Amazon or on eBay to try to locate the part and do it as a do-it-yourself project. This is about a three-year-old dishwasher, less than five, and a mid-range to low-end design, stainless steel treated aluminum design, uh, which is an economical design of retail value around $500 to $600, not including installation. And what I mean by treated aluminum, magnets will stick to treated aluminum, aluminum, external, and also internal. Generally, if this was a true stainless steel, the in inlining of the door would not allow the magnet to stick, which thus allows these dishwashers to be easily replaced, keeping up with the trend of design that is desired, which is the stainless steel from when they first came out 10 years ago. And so these are the indicators and in what to look out for when these appliances start failing after two years, a year out of warranty, and when parts are not available locally from your major distributor, then that's an indication of a trend that is being developed in these appliances. Due to parts availability and no ETA at the manufacturer's level, 
unfortunately, you are forced to replace your dishwasher or any appliance under those circumstances. Oh.